Micah 4, 5. And you, sorry, 4, 8. And you, O tower of the flock, hill of the daughter of Zion, to you shall it come. The former dominion shall come, the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem. Your hand shall be lifted up over your enemies, and all your enemies shall be cut off. He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Amen. And that is what I believe the Lord is bringing us to. I missed a, a, a dream, a very important dream, although I'm going to put the link um, on. And because it's a really old one, I think I should do it, because back in those days I was trying to impress you, and uh, so I had music going on in the background, and I was very nervous. So I just wanted to um, to encourage those who don't know what's happening, who don't know what to think about Trump, who don't, you know, uh, and who are now facing the fact that um, that things haven't happened. You know, I see here, you know, I've just, um, Genesis 49.10, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from beneath his feet, until Shiloh and Messiah come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So... A lot of stuff was happening then. That was back in 2016, and the Lord was speaking to me during the night, on the like seventh of the nineteenth, nineteenth of the seventh. Beg your pardon. There, I remember hearing the word Shema. Here and um, you know, and it was going through all my dreams. I didn't know what it was, and um, but it is the prayer that all Jews hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and all your might. The next night, um, I actually saw like an anagram, A-R-R-C, and it turned out to be the Allied Rapid Response Corp. And I was able to go in there and see that um, all the Allied forces um, on the borders around Russia and all um, in places that we don't know about. And, um, you know, and also on the 23rd, today was the vote on Brexit. I dreamt a murderer was just about to start his rampage of blood and that Dennis had brought a small red boat, be my husband as in God, and was deciding whether it was too small. Okay, so he needs a bigger boat to save, save the people. So that's talking about this rampage. Um, in this ARC, I was able to go in and it was like their Facebook page, you know, the troops were talking to each other and they were posting pictures and one of the pictures, you know, was um, they titled it house clean, cleaning and it was a picture of a guy with a hand grenade throwing it into a house, you know, so that's the sort of thing they find funny. But I also wanted, this was a really great one on the 7th of August, Sunday, and and that's what I believe is happening, that um, the dream that I wanted to share with you today is called The War Is Over, The Red Bull Is Coming To Get Us, The Red Bull Nibiru Is Coming To Get Us, because I believe um, as above, so below. While God is um, doing things in the heavens, the same sort of thing happens on the earth, and that Trump is sort of acting out you know, what is happening in the heavens so here's our earthly version of it and you know for those of you um, who um, expect Jesus to come in the flesh you know I'm, not, I'm going to get some flat here um, you know he, he comes to Jerusalem and with and one 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 with one leg on one side of, of the you know, on the valley and one on the other. So that obviously, and, and you know, there's a huge earthquake and the it, it splits, you know, his return, he splits in two. So that obviously can't be just a physical human being return this time. So I think, you know, we, you really have to start thinking of another way. So, and this is what I believe is happening. The 7th of August, Sunday, I looked up into the sky and saw something like white tongues of fire, almost an arrow shape. So I've sort of drawn it like that. Can you see that sort of funny? I always have trouble <laughs> drawing the things. Like an arrow shape, which joined at the end to become angels. 
and there were thousands of them. I was very excited and tried to get Lisa to look up, but she would not. Then there were a couple of reporters who had heard that something was going on down here on the quay, and they came for a story. I think one was Nan, and although, she's a journalist, I know, and although, who hates me, <laughs> And although one would expect them to be sceptical, they were not. So that was a real witness that it was her, and uh, because she's a Buddhist as well. And they saw all these people playing music on invisible instruments because of the strength of the vibrations of the ab angels above them. Okay, so that is these tongues, you know. So um, that was incredible, that, that dream. So, but I wanted to talk to you about um, this uh, dream of Warren Mooney because even at that time I hadn't understood everything that it meant. And just the simple fact that the name Mooney also has um, connotations that I hadn't connected at the time. So Warren Mooney is my second cousin. Um, dreamt Mo Warren Mooney, my second cousin who inherited the family farm, was standing high up on a rise amongst the town's folk when he made the pronouncement that the war was over. I'm not sure how he knew that, but he seemed pretty confident about it. And then the herd of cattle came walking down the hill towards me. They were all red, and I was a little nervous as the red bull was coming to me. He stood in front of me, and I touched his head. Okay, so I always have the witnesses. So the next night, Jeff Gil Gilbertson was going to marry me. I mean, sorry, same night. Number three, I was taking a bath on a bright, a sunny day on the open road. There wasn't much traffic for me to be concerned about, but then someone came and I could see he was thinking of taking advantage of my vulnerability, but I sent him on his way, warning him as he went. Number four, Leonard, so it's Leonard Cohen, I talked about him in my last stream. Leonard Cohen, he was the one, many of you will know, he, he wrote the song Hallelujah. He's a Jew, but um, pretty Christian Jew. Leonard had made some new songs, and the younger generation was now listening to them. I was sharing a bed with one of them, he, and he revealed Leonard's new song to me, and I was considering getting the new CD. It was as if there were quite a few young people staying in the same house as me, and I alerted them to the danger of an extension cord with exposed wires, which was very dangerous. Okay. It's getting dark in here, I just have to turn on the light, sorry. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> this is what I have. Warren means lead or lord of the land, announces the end of the war, the war between God and Satan. And of course, Mooney being Mooney um, is that the moon is the church. The bull, red bull coming for me is Jesus, and that is is um, also spoken of in um, in Bollinger's um, Bollinger's Stars. Um, he is uh, the red bull, and that is the star um, Taurus. So that's all all scriptural and uh, in the the Maseroth. So the next dream. Um, owner, so the next dream is um, is um, the owner, so Jeff Gilbertson, the owner of Mega 10, Mega 10, Mighty 10, he has the big giant Mega 10, Mighty 10 store, so which means Great Mighty Mountain, and 10 of course is completion. And then um, the third one in the bath, the whole world can see my vulnerability and public cleansing, and those who would think to harm me are now sent away. Number four, new songs, new beginnings, a new generation where we all care and look after each other. Also realise that the twinkling of an eye, the time between dusk and night, is the midnight cry in Greenwich, meantime, England. Okay, I was born at that time. So, okay, so that's just one day's dreams, and that was um, 29th of August 2016. And so that is what I'm actually believing now, and that a time has changed. And just as all my dreams of Trump, if I showed you them, um, they, 2016, they were all positive. I start here 21st of March. Um, that was 
2017, just after he was elected. I was Ivanka Trump's mother and she had just asked me if I would like to join them for dinner. I asked if I would feel comfortable um, and you could see her first thought was that I would not be. So she said she would just be wearing the same clothes she wears in the daytime, but that she'd find me some good earrings. Donald was smoothing out the last wrinkles in the tablecloths as he returned them to their plastic bags. I was amazed at his patience and meticulousness and commented on what a neat man he was. He replied that one could not eat at a table without a tablecloth. Could one? And I replied, of course not, but that nobody else would go to the efforts he does. He smiled knowingly and looked at me until I had to look away. He did that several times, seeing I was very bashful. He seemed to enjoy it. I had an apron on and there were several layers of pockets. He dropped something into one pocket and then as I was coming out to dinner with them, he put his credit card in another one. I was not so happy about that but accepted the gesture as I was feeling anxious about what I was going to do since spilling porridge over myself. Men on the street were training to be medics. They had double collars on their shirts and were learning how to move and gather the patient's medical details before attempting treatment. They were all very proud of what they were doing. It was as if the times had changed and we had returned to a time of pride and dignity where we were proud to work diligently. In all the dreams, it was night time. So um, I really should go through and... and, and take all the dreams that I have um, dreamt of Trump and you know because they really are a, a great deal um, uh, this is another one I was part of Ivanka Trump's family now but I was so busy cleaning up the house I was missing out on joining them my house had very high walls and ceilings and there were cobwebs wherever the light shone down. I didn't know how I'd get to them all. There was someone with me who was also part of the family now and she was trying on Ivanka's gorgeous sapphire and diamond earrings. They were planning on going out to lunch but I was concerned about the large quantity of large white bait in the fridge. I feel I was naked. I was pulling out a plug of potato peelings from the tap. It went on and on until finally the last concentrated bit came out. The large wine carboy had evaporated. This is another dream. Had evaporated. The large wine carboy had evaporated its contents again. Looking down on it, it appeared to have wine in it. But when you held it up, there it was clear that it was empty with nothing but the line where the wine had been giving the illusion of it. It was the second time it had happened. And then number four, a small silver electric car of very sporty design arrived. The French doors were open, double doors, but I hoped he would not come to that door as the room was a mess. He was here to give a price on fixing the roof. He came into the study, ironing room, and my sewing machine was up high and he had to push aside things lying on the floor. He asked me if I was sure I couldn't stand the timber colored top on my machine as he was planning to paint it too but I said no he should not take too much notice of anything I said cut it all in half and throw the rest out of the window or something to that effect so you can see all these dreams are talking I've written all sorts of things here um, I'm I'm cleansing myself um, I'm in the king's household but I need to clean up my act and unblock the plumbing all and all the peels or I will mix, miss, miss out on the dinner. See, in here, fish salvation going to waste. I, all these, are, I, I'm very negative in my thinking about myself, but when I look at that now, just uh, two years later, um, uh, you know, I, I can see other, you know, I can see this is all just talking about this new time um, and, and being joined in this um, and not worrying. You know, it's a time to not worry about, the, you know, and, and to clear out the blockages, you know, to, to clear out those things that are stuck in the taps. And um, that, yeah, if, if you, I keep worrying um, about what's in the past, what's waiting in the fridge, you know, I'm going to miss out on the meal that's now. And I think... Um, like this small electric car, you know, this is this is the future, the future's here, the future's arrived at our door, um, you know, so all, all this I just sort of offer up to you to, you know, um, 
just to show, you know, real dreams um, and how God talks and, and those are far, you know, you can see that those, they, they make sense, even though they're nonsensical, they still make sense. And, um, but only, as I did in that um, video, the war is over, the Red Bull is coming to get us, and I, I, I believe that was Nibiru. So everything that's happening um, in the clouds, um, you know, he is the Red Bull. This, Nibiru is the Red Bull, and um, he's also um, surrounded by the darkness. Um, you know, if you read, um, if you read, uh, what's his name? Um, Doug Elwell's Doug El Elwell's sign of the son of the man. You will see um, all through the Bible, all through the Psalms, Nibiru, Planet X described. You know and. Um, and it is Jesus coming back. You know, this is how he's coming back to judge the nations. And I believe he is here. He's here now that it has happened. That time has come. And, um, you know, we are waiting for something that already is. And that his salvation and this time of, you know, just as it spoke of those um, the tongues, you know, that everybody on the key will see. That they will see this revival. They will see the tongues of 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 fire turn into angels and the angels um, that play the music, beautiful music will come down because of the, um, it's just like in Psalm 85, you know, which was that other dream, wake me up when September ends and I will read you the whole Psalm because I read it this morning and it just struck me again of how absolutely beautiful and how true it was and how it relates to everything I'm saying to you. So, um, Lord, thou was favor favorable, Lord, thou was favorable to thy land. Thou did restore the fortunes of Jacob. Thou didst forgive the iniquity of thy people. See, it's past. Thou didst pardon all their sins. Thou didst withdraw all thy wrath. Thou didst turn from thy hot anger. Restore us again, O God, of our salvation, and put away thy indignation towards us. Wilt thou be angry for us with us forever? Wilt thou prolong thy anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his peoples, to his saints, to those who turn to him in their hearts. You know, the book of Joel, if you rend your hearts and not your garments. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. Yea, the Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and make his footsteps away. Amen. And with that, I think I'm going to finish on my Hosea, the first painting I ever did. There it is. You know that one there? Come, let us return unto the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to know him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. Okay, wow. Do you hear that thunder? Whoa. He's coming. He's coming on the clouds. That's what he said. He's coming on the clouds. So will you be ready to meet him? Will you be the bride with a wedding, the wedding garment on? Or you know, will that be given to one of the ones in the wayfares and the, the highways and the byways because, because um, you weren't ready? You didn't have your garment on. So the garment is um, the spirit. You know, If you haven't got tongues... Ask the Lord to fill you with tongues and start pressing in and 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 really rapture, rapture yourself, you know, be raptured like Stephen. Look up to Jesus, look up 
and be raptured and joined with him and you we will hear peace from heaven the voice of peace the voice of shalom from heaven so thanks for watching <laughs>